Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we customize a standard agent. We'll just check the quick recipe. How do we create or how do we customize the existing standard agent, okay? So let's see the steps. There are just four steps involved in customizing a standard agent. So the agenda for this session is, how do we get a standard agent, copy the template, we generally call it as copying the template, and then you just modify it and run it. Okay, that is our agenda for this particular session. And here, all the steps are very important to understand here. The first step is to perform a copy and running an agent actually, until unless you have a proper role, you cannot run it. That is where major roadblock we generally come across. So the first and foremost important thing, what you have to find is you create a custom role if you don't have any of the role. If at all, if you already have a role, make sure that there is an option called enable permission. This is a new field which came for the purpose of agents, okay? So get your existing agent, get your existing custom role if you already have it, enable the permission checkbox. Once it is done, then go to the agent studio, search a procurement policy advisor agent. In our, in our session today, I'm copying this particular template. If you want to perform the similar operation on any other agent, yes, it should work. So maybe in your case, let us say if you don't have any other particular agent in mind, maybe just make use of this one procurement policy advisor agent, perform a copy template, give a suffix. Generally, what will happen is when you perform a copy template, so you can't totally rename the total name of your agent, but what you can do is you can just give a suffix. You can give a short name of your organization, short name of your name or anything like that. You just give a short name. And then once you perform a copy, this particular code will get opened in the edit mode in the agent studio. There, we have two more very important properties which you have to set it. The first one is the security roles. You have to add up any of the security role. And then the questions, if at all, if your agent is having on the standard one, it may not be copied. You have to explicitly mention them and then our agent is ready to run. Let us see the screens also and then we'll just perform the real demo. So this is the first screen which I was talking about. When you are opening the existing role, or maybe if you create a, any new role, make sure that this particular enable permission button or checkbox is enabled. Okay, this is a first step prerequisite. Next one is you go to agent studio, search for the agent which you want to perform a copy. I'm in my, you know, in my case, I'm just searching the procurement policy agent. You have to click on this particular icon, which performs a copy. Once you click on this icon, it will provide you a pop-up called providing the agent team suffix. You just, in my case, I provided eight in. You can go with your own specific suffix and then click on continue. Once you click on continue, it will go to the third step. This is where the agent gets opened in the agent studio editor. So this is our agent studio and this is editor. The procurement policy advisor, the suffix ATL got opened in a draft mode. And here there are a couple of settings we have to change. So I was, as I told you, there are two settings, right? One is a security role, other is a question. So here you can see there are two icons, this triangular, right? This triangle icon is for the purpose of running the agent. And this gear icon, the next icon is called gear icon, which is for the purpose of providing the settings on the agent. So once you click on the gear icon, you will have an option. You can see there are four tabs, right? Details and LLM, it does not need to change anything. And security, very important one, you can select any of the role as of now, whichever role comes, you just simply select it because without having, in, without having a role assigned to your agent, the agent will not work. Okay, if at all, if drop down comes, if any agent comes, better select some age role and then make use of it. So why we are not concentrating on that one is see, initially we just want our agent to run, right? Maybe later on you can add up the appropriate role, set the appropriate security and all those things. But for now, if role comes, just select it. And then in the questions, if at all, if the questions are not appearing, you get the questions from this standard agent and then set the questions and then update. It will allow you to add up only three questions and then click on update. Once you perform the update, the last step is running your agent. You just click on this icon. It may ask you the question. I just set only one question. That's why it was just asking me only one question. I selected the question and it provides a result. That's it. Our agent is ready to run. So now we'll just see the real demo of these all steps which I discussed one by one. So I'm in my agent studio now. And before that, the first step, let me show you the role which I was talking about. So let me show you that one minute. 
So, okay. Yeah. So this role and this, this is what I was talking about. Enable permission group. Okay. Very important property. And now once your particular role is done, go to the second step, right? So I'll just close this one. Let me go to Agent Studio. Click on Home. Tools. AI Agent Studio. And then you search for the agent. So this is a home page for the list of standard agents which are available. This is called Agent Studio. You search with the name Procurement Policy. And it shows this option, hopefully. You click on this particular option called Copy Template. And then you just mention any of the name. Let's say LXSI, LXSI. Click on continue. Now our agent got opened in the agent studio. And the next thing is you just click on this gear icon. And here you can see the default properties which got from standard template, LLM. It's a default, you can't change it. Click on questions. As I said you, it will not copy the question. So I just already made a note of the three questions which were available on the standard template. So I'll just keep here. And third one, this is the content, right? And now in the security, click on security. As of now, there is no role added here. You click on add, click on a drop down, and uh, let's see. Yes, it is showing uh, any of the role. So I am not bothered about which role for now. I'll just select this one and click on apply and click on update, right? So now click on this gear icon. And this is step for running an agent. You can see there are three questions that come, they came up because of the questions we added at the agent level. Now click on any of the question. Let's see what it will happen. So this particular pop-up, right, which you see in the color fashion, this will not be shown to the end user in real time. So this is only for the agent admin so the way we are running now as an agent admin because agent admin can only create a new agent right not for the end user so now we are in the agent admin mode wherein we have agent studio access we have created an agent we are running it so this running one so while running it it will clearly tell you you provide an input what is the way it is providing the sequence of execution this is how it provides this is your input this is output whatever the output which is there here this is the final output which will be shown to the end user Okay, so this is how we can perform a customization or a copying the existing agent studio. In the next session, we'll explore some more functionalities of the agents. Okay, thank you.